Hey there. If you're thinking about getting out there on the road with the big rigs and driving a rig, an RV, or even a bus, then have we got great news for you. Southwest Truck Driver Training can get you trained and rolling in as little as four weeks. They offer lifetime job placement support. They have special military programs, a financial aid program, including grant applications, and so much more to offer you. Plus, they are family owned business right here in the southwest they have world-class training for class a and b cdls hazmat endorsement training rv training and of course a refresher course if you need one and did we mention they have three locations which are phoenix tucson and north las vegas so we don't know why you're sitting there channel surfing on a tv when you could be learning to drive and roll down the road to earning a great living today go to their website SWTDT.com to learn more about Southwest Truck Driver Training to shift your career into high gear. Tell them you heard about them on the 18 Wheel Talk podcast show. We love them. You will too. Psst. Hey, it's me, Patrick. Just wanted to remind you don't forget to go sign up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's 18wheeltalk.com forward slash YouTube. And get subscribed so that you can get our videos and see our videos and everything video. Later, taters. Breaker one nine. Break one nine for radio check. 18 Wheel Talk. Welcome to the 18 Wheel Talk podcast show. We're a podcast for truckers, about truckers, by truckers. Coaching generations of drivers while guiding them on their path to success. Fueling them with knowledge and passion for trucking. Navigating Navigating the the industry industry one one mile mile at a a time. time. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the 18 Wheel Talk Podcast Show. Thank you, thank you. We're live on YouTube. Boop, boop, if boop, you're here boop. watching us, thank you. Leave a comment. Let us know you're here. Say hello. Give us a high five. Ring the bell. Subscribe. Yes, don't forget to subscribe. Ring our notification bell. You can ring our bell. You ding. can ring our bell. Ding. Usually she's saying she's going to ring my bell. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> welcome. Welcome in. I'm going to give you a little laugh, a little humor, a little, what's going on today, Patrick? I have no idea. I don't know why you even ask me that question. I don't know why you say that. I don't, I don't know why you say, what's going on today, man? Because I have no clues on what's going on today. Hey, do you know what today is? It's Tuesday. Also, it's 2 p.m. on Tuesday. 2 p.m. Tuesdays. That's what we're doing now. Tuesdays at 2 ish. And Kabubu. there's there's tacos and tequila. tequila and I like tequila. Are we tequila eating? We can do a tequila Here, Hold on. Right now. First we, we do this and, and gotta toast me. Oh. <laughs> toast. There we go. Salute. Salute. I forgot. Ooh, lick it, slam it, suck it. Where's, ah. where's the lemon? I the forgot. Lime or the salt? It is live. Uh, next. Oh. Week. Okay, next week we're doing margaritas. Okay. Oh, that was. Oh. oh, wow. That's a punch in the mouth. All right. Let's do a show. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to our podcast show. You, you okay? Oh, yeah. You're warm on the inside now, aren't you? Yeah. Warm on the inside. Warms your cockles. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> Warms my soul, my throat. Is... Anyways, welcome in. Welcome to the show. Say hello in the chat. Let us know <sighs> that you're here, where you're from, how you doing, and what's the weather did, like. And if you did tequila with us, don't drink and dry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. If you did a tequila shot and you're on you're on the West Coast and you're still at work, there's a problem. You might have to call Unless the boss. You work from home. You might have to call your boss and say, Whoops, sorry. <laughs> a little earthquake going here. Hold on. Oh yeah, there was an earthquake going on in me. I just belched. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> oh, that's a good start. I like that. that was- wow, that's a Punch in the mouth, but warm and fuzzy now. Yeah, I feel all learned. Any jitters I might have had about doing a live show or gone. Fuck it, gone. 
Maybe, maybe it'll help. Wow, I made head. it 10 minutes before I let the F-bomb go. I'm sorry. Uh, 10, 10 after 2. We didn't start 10 minutes I'm ago. I'm sorry. Though. But, but it's 10 after, I made it to 10 after 2. Okay, then. I made it five minutes into the live program before I dropped <laughs> an F-bomb. Sorry, YouTube. He's so not sorry. I am, but I'm not. So today's Giving Tuesday. I gave tequila a shot. Oh, I'm still <laughs> feeling it. I'm sorry. If you're seeing me, it's like... Oh. I, I don't do a lot of tequila shots for a reason. But anyway. So I can tell you about Giving Tuesday if you want. Yes. You go ahead and start. I gotta I gotta I gotta welcome people into our show. Oh, okay, because there's things you can do on Giving Tuesday. And I know it's like half over and everything, but you can donate, you can volunteer, you can do a random act of kindness, you can help a friend, and a you can use your voice. Act of kindness. Okay, you wanna start with that one? You can do things like um, volunteer at a shelter, walk a dog at a shelter, help out, um, stop and help someone across the street. Although nowadays you'd be lucky if they don't punch you in the face for that. Well, but yeah, I, I, I get it. I get it. You know, something as easy as like uh, I was at the grocery store a couple of weeks ago and someone needed help with the cart. They were like trying to open their trunk and their cart was rolling away. So I stopped and put my foot on their cart so it didn't roll away. <clears throat> while they open their truck Bless you. or open their trunk. You know, something as easy as that is just considered a random act of kindness. Holding a door for a stranger, random act of kindness. Well, um, it, uh, now, 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 my buddy <clears throat> Rambo, who I used to work with, mm -hmm. he would say random act of kindness would be a Marine holding a door for him. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I used to call him a Marine and he's an army vet. I know. I used That's to walk through I'm the door. I, I used to walk through the door and go, thank you, Marine. He goes, I'm not a Marine. Go I'm not a doorstop. Exactly. I know. <laughs> so all my Marine friends out there, I don't know what to tell you, man. You know the jokes. You you tell army jokes. I tell Marine jokes, et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, but we all appreciate each my other. Screwed on right here. It's never going to be screwed on, right? Get my ears so, situated. But anyways, if you're if you're still here choking on the tequila. If you're here, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you for joining us. We we do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so holding, we're talking we're talking giving Tuesday. Yes, and random act of kindness we're, is we're, one we're way. We're talking about random acts of kindness. I used to when I worked in when I lived in Iowa, mm -hmm. um my grandmother in law lived in a nursing home. Okay. And I ran a steakhouse down the road and I used to have to go buy it all the time. Oh, I love and, steak. Sorry. <laughs> and I b did a lot of baking, go figure. And so, you, I know it's just, who can think of that? You do so bake uh, speaking of which it's, it's baking season. Isn't it? So on, yes, on the way to work, I would, I would bake some pies and cakes and everything else. And I would just okay. stop by the nursing home and I'd drop some off special for her, but I'd also drop off enough for her friends and other people at the nursing home and mm -hmm. leave them at the nurse's desk and everything else. And um, I always knew I'd get my dishes back because it was a small town, you know? Yeah. So the button on top that was, of my head is like, it, it's a short drive. It's driving me crazy, but it's a short drive. I think yes. I got it. I think I had the, the thing on top of the button. Now it's not. So let's get my head screwed on straight. So I here. don't know if that would be considered volunteering or a random act of kindness, but I enjoyed it. But another. Yes, Patrick, are you done playing pirate over there? <laughs> he had to take his headset off. He's got to fix his hat, people. Oh, my God. There now. Holy. Jesus, God. <sighs> can we get uh, on with can we, you? Can we fire the wardrobe people? Because they fucked me all up today. You did your own wardrobe today. No. I wasn't oh, yeah, in charge right. of you today. <laughs> Low budget. Low budget. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, we'll, so we'll another be here thing for you, at least an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so another thing you can do is donate. And people are like, oh, I'm broke. I can't afford to donate. But donate there's your time. You can donate your time. You can donate like I donate my old glasses to United Way uh -huh. because even though they replace the lenses, because I use plastic lenses, they can't be reused. They, they you can't polish the scratches out. Right. They can reuse the frames. They can. And if they can't right, use the right. whole frame, they can use pieces of them. Right. For people in need. Yep. 
Um, they can they can tear, tear them apart, and make a good one. You can donate. I donate clothes because clothes. I, I get I'm getting heavy, and you know I'm not a I'm not a slim as I was back in high school. So therefore, <laughs> I'm not as stealthy as I used to be. You're the comfort version. So so my stealthy clothes have been donated to like Goodwill or Salvation Army. <laughs> yep, and I've donated Just clothes, saying. and I've donated clothes to women's shelters for women who wanted to go back to work, back in the yep. job force, because yep. I have some really nice clothes. I gotcha. But you can also donate food to food banks if you have that. If you're, if you don't, you can donate older blankets that are clean and not torn up. You can donate them to um, shelters, and if they say they have some tears in them, you can still donate them to animal shelters. True. There's so many different things we've, you can we've donate. Go, we, we've we, done all of the above. We, we've taken some of our, our 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 girls, our pugs. They donate. They've donated to every the pug Christmas society there. Yeah, at Christmas time because we make them go through their toys. Way too many toys. Uh, because they get toys for Christmas, we we make them go through their toys. Way too many toys. And we I'm help them, of course. Up. Yes, we help them get rid of some because I'm tired of stepping on them. And we pick out Just good, saying. clean toys and we clean them up some more and we donate them to the local pug charities. Yes. And they love us. They love us. Oh, boy, and love close us. at the girls who are no longer in their stealth mode. They're in their comfort zones. Clothes that they don't fit into that are in good shape. We donate those too. And by the way, all those donations are tax deductible, people, in yes. case you didn't know that. <laughs> um. Hey, oh, is it drink have time? You, have you tried this stuff oh, yet? Wait, wait for me. Wait. It's Freedom Ice. We saw it in the store, <laughs> and we we're like, "I like energy drinks, so I'm 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 always trying new ones." This one, this one, this one sounded good. So, cheers. It smells like raspberry-ish. Is it me? I like that. Like a blue raspberry punch, no. I like that C four. Yeah, that's got yeah. a good. That's got a good flavor. That's a keeper. I hope it helps my brain function. Oh, I hope it helps mine. <laughs> mine needs all the help it can get. Hey, if if you if you're interested in trying it, go to go to eighteen wheeltalkcom dot slash C four. Oh, they got and, a sale going on right that, now too, and that lets them know that we sent you. And what? it's on sale right now. Is it still? Yeah, it today still I think today's the last day. Was it 30% off the entire store or something? Like that? Uh, I think so. And a discount, I think, on shipping. Not free shipping, but I think it's got discounted shipping still. Wow, that's got a good flavor. I it. like that. I might have to go order You know how some. Some, you know, some energy drinks, when you take it, it's like, it's like ooh, that first slug is a punch in the mouth. That's mm -hmm. not bad. That's like I said, it's like a raspberry. There's, some, there's something else there. I just can't put my finger on it. You know, it's got like that. Like a blue raspberry flavor. Help me out. Help me I out. I can't tell you. Oh my goodness! It's I got some sort of citrus in it too, though. Yeah, like like I said, it, it's got a really good taste yeah. to it. But I taste more like a raspberry. Yeah. I don't know raspberry and something. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I get a raspberry flavor right up right up front. Yep. So and I like raspberry. That's, that's okay. Amazing. So or maybe it's blueberry. I'm thinking. No, it's raspberry. It's raspberry. I taste raspberry. Taste raspberry. Well, anyway, maybe it's mixed with this blueberry. This is good. Thank you, C4. Thank you. This C4. is awesome. Mm. It tastes really good. Okay. Freedom. It's called Freedom, Freedom Ice. Ice. Zero sugar. And it's got brain power. And I'm I'm all backwards. Super super brain. Super brain performance. performance. Fuel. Okay, so Anyways, we talked like about said, donating. We saw these in the grocery store and said, "Oh, we got to try them." So okay. another thing you can do for for Giving Tuesday is to volunteer like at an animal shelter, a nursing home, your church, etc. Um, help a friend, give a friend a ride to work, give a friend a ride to church, a ride to the doctor's office, yep. rake their leaves. All right. Now, I know I know this is more common. This is common in, in most states out west, but there's always somebody standing on the corner. Mm -hmm. we could, you can give them a bottle of water. Yeah, I kind of you have know, the, the there's a lot of scam artists out there. That, true, but but when the sign says expensive. when the sign says we'll work for food, yeah, that's different. Yep. 
when or, they're just or, standing- I'm, or I'm short. Uh, I, I've seen it where it says I'm short on my rent. And then every time he got a donation, he would cross it out and deduct what he got. Yeah. <laughs> um, that kind of makes you wonder, too. Yeah. But it's like, it's like I only need two hundred dollars. I only need. <laughs> but like the one guy, I only he, need 190. I only need <laughs> yeah. 185. I remember we were shopping at Walmart and we came out and one guy had his dog with him and he said, I just need food for my dog that he did. Wasn't asking for anything for himself. Right. right. Yep. And we had bottles of water and I had just bought dog food Yep. and we gave him the bag of dog for his dog. We gave a bag of dog food, the whole bag for his dog. It was, and, it was a small bag. And we, yeah, it was like 10 pounds or something. And we gave him four or five bottles of water, whatever we had in the car. We did. We had some that we because we were traveling a lot that day and we just gave it to him. And then we turned around, went back to Walmart and bought another bag of food. And he so, I thought he was going to cry. He was just so grateful. I think he did cheer up. He a little, opened I up saw the, him do this. Yeah. He opened up the <laughs> bag of food and his dog started eating out of it right away. So yeah. I know the dog. Was oh, hungry. oh yeah. yeah. The dog appreciated. I absolutely. I'm going to help an animal in need. You know? I don't think the dog sniffed the bag and went, oh, no, I'm not eating. That yeah. The, unlike, two, <laughs> unlike two little ones. I'm not I'm eating not. Walmart brand. No, screw you. Yeah. It wasn't even Walmart <laughs> brand. It was whatever. But you brand know what I mean. No, I know. So it's that not, would definitely it's not fall like the under dog a, said, you know what? I'm not feeling that food. I am not touching that. Yeah. So that I, would definitely more sophisticated than that. That that be little child right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I only eat steak. Thank yeah. you. No, nope, sorry. It's not it's chicken flavor that I, I have a chicken allergy. I can't. Eat that. So that would fall <laughs> under a random act of kindness also. And the last thing is use your voice to use your social platform to tell people how they can help and, oh, like and to it. tell That's them it. about. Things Sorry. that the community needs. If you know that your church needs um, new new ma- new new pews, or your church needs help pew, for pew. the needy, yeah, pew, pew. New different pew. type of pew. <laughs> or if your church right. is doing a drive for blankets for the shelter, right. get out there on your social platform and help them. Yep. Even if you're not going to volunteer yourself, ask for volunteers. Ask for people to donate blankets or whatever it is they're looking for. Or if your local shelter is doing a drive, you can do it on your social platform yeah, and help. They, it, more people that know, the more people that help. That's yeah, I know, what we're doing right here. I know out here in Arizona during the summer months, they do water drives. Yes. because Really big our, water drives. Because of the homeless. They want to make sure that the, the homeless people have ample water. Yes. Oh, excuse me. Boy, that came out of nowhere. Are you sure? I thought it came from your toes. It might have. I don't know. Stay with us. We'll be right back. If you don't have a dash cam in your semi and you went and spent all that money on it, do you really think that you and your truck are protected against John Q. Public? We don't. That is why we recommend Rexing USA cameras and equipment. Whatever it is you are looking for, whether it be a dash cam, a body cam, a trail cam, or similar, they probably have it. Nearly every new vehicle coming out has a dash cam, and there is a reason for it. Litigation. Yes, welcome to America, the land of litigation. So the best thing you can do is to protect what you own with video and pictures. And their dash cams, boy, let me tell you, their cams do a lot. They have 170-degree ultra-wide-angle lenses that will automatically lock in the last video if it feels a vibration from an accident. It has a super-capacitor battery backup that is better than lithium for extreme heat or cold. Add in loop recording, a mobile app, and parking monitoring, and more. And yes, now you have a really great package for this company of cameras. So come on, check it out at 18wheeltalk.com slash dashcam. That's 18wheeltalk.com slash dashcam. So, so. next up, Patrick. Next on the list. Oh, it's me. It's you. Oh, I'm up. Oh. You're up. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to talk about. Oh, my God. What, what was I going to talk about? Well, small gifts. Small s- small gifts? Or did you want to talk about... Did, did we talk about our Patreon? No, we didn't. I just have to say, look down at my feet. There's a pug's tongue stuck on the cord to my headset. It was. She just moved her head. 
Pug on her foot. She, I have a cord on my headset, and she had her tongue wrapped around it. Uh, not anymore, because you anymore. tugged at it. <laughs> okay, anyways, Patreon. Let's anyways, talk about that. Let's. Let, I just want to. I want to give a shout out to our newest Patreon, Shirley. Shirley, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for joining the family even more. Yes, and uh, uh, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep you know, the more people that join, the more things we're going to be able to do. Um, we have a poll on our Patreon account. Go to go to you can either go to patreon.com slash 18 wheel talk or you can go to 18 wheel talk.com slash Patreon. Either way, you're going to get there. Either way, you're going to get there. Uh, there will be a link after this live video. I'll put a link in the show notes for this video. And mm -hmm. uh, this way, it'll be easier. Uh, if you're ever looking for an episode of our podcast show. And you're like, oh, my God, I remember the episode number, but I don't remember where to go. If you go to 18wheeltalk.com, if you know the episode number, type the letter E and the number, you know, 18wheeltalk.com slash E, like this would be, I think, 36. 30. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I think it's going to be episode 36. <clears throat> or if you just don't know and you want to browse around. We have an episode, episode library. library. Episode library tab at the very you top. Just scroll. And then scroll and scroll and I can't scroll believe we're like that. We're we're almost we're almost at you know forty episodes already. I know. What are we gonna do? Oh have fun. God. Have a party. We're gonna have to when we hit fifty episodes, man. We're gonna have to do like a big giveaway or something. Maybe, maybe. Don't quote me on that. Wait, let's remind. <laughs> <laughs> when we hit episode fifty, we'll have a celebration on air, and we'll drink beer. Oh well, well I'll drink. Uh, I'll uh, drink wine. He'll drink. Beer. There'll definitely be alcohol involved. Okay, and I think I'll by drink... then we can tolerate the tequila shots because we're doing this every Tuesday. So by then, I think tequila would be nothing. We'd be chugging it out of the bottle. He... <laughs> I'll be doing margaritas. Margaritas for Tuesday. There's you know, tequila maybe, in maybe, it. Maybe that's a little better. Maybe we should do margaritas. That way, I can sip it. Sip it. Margarita C four. To... Margarita C four. <laughs> That'd be an interesting breakfast of champions, lunch breakfast. of champions, lunch of champions. Thank God we're doing this two in the afternoon. Whew. Well, it's not. We did it two in the morning. Oh, I can't. If it was 10 in the morning, it'd be brunch. Tequila for brunch. Yeah. I'm looking forward to taco Tuesday. Yeah, but if it was brunch, I wouldn't be doing tequila. We'd be doing Bloody Marys. So we want to get tacos. To, we're going to make homemade tacos. Yeah, I know you want tacos, but I was thinking of taking the leftover turkey. Okay. And and instead of chicken enchiladas, make turkey ones. Make turkey enchiladas. Oh, you know you what? Know the... But you know what happens after that? It's going to be nap time because of that turkey trick trick to to trip to fan. Yeah, that that stuff, that trippy fan stuff, makes you hallucinate. Take 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 mad dreams. <laughs> okay, I will never make enchiladas. What? Till next well, time. What? I did say till next time. Hush up. I said till next time, Patrick. Oh, okay. Which would be today, maybe? Well, you said you didn't want turkey I, enchiladas. No, that no, it sounds good. I was ah. just like, I don't like the effects afterwards where you gotta take a nap because the trick trip 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 fan. Yeah, the trippy fan shit. Whatever they call okay, it. Okay, so it'll have just a little bit of turkey in it. I'll leave off the gravy, the sauce I make. Are you crazy? That's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you don't. You y'all don't know. All right. She made enchiladas for us for the first time. I, she's made them before, but she she never made them for me or Kyle. And Kyle, my, Kyle's my son, if you if you if you don't know. me. And oh, my God, are they? They were freaking amazing. It was like I looked at her and I said, oh, my God, this is my new favorite. This this outweighs white lasagna. Tabitha, if you're listening. Tabitha is my daughter. Her enchiladas, hands down. Times 100 times better than that white lasagna. Hands down. FYI. A lot cheaper too. white lasagna is I'm expensive the way I make it. Janet can cook her ass off. Oh, wait, she has she, ha ass. she has cooked her ass off. <laughs> but oh if I my could cook my stomach God. off, that'd be wonderful. Hands down. Uh, I mean, thank you, mm, darling. I will it, like if I had a choice, white lasagna or enchiladas, 
I'm sorry. I'm going enchiladas. That's like, oh, that's my. And even Kyle said the same thing. He's like, yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a close that's a close race. I don't know which one would really win. I'd have to have them side by side to try them side by side to see. That's a dream. But yeah, oh yeah, that's a pipe dream. It's a pipe dream. I think it's the tequila talking, really. Yeah, well, the, the white lasagna is very labor intensive. Well, like I said, I mean, if you could make a white lasagna and then make it like a little batch of enchiladas, so we had like samples. Oh, okay. That'd be awesome. Okay. I keep, I keep telling, I keep I'll telling keep that in mind. I keep telling Janet when I officially retire, we, we're gonna, we're gonna buy a food truck. Because man, I throw some ideas at her, and she'll whip something up, and it's like, oh my god. Or she'll say, "Hey, I'm thinking of something for dinner," and I like, all right. I all won't right, even tell him what. I'll just. Say, I'm thinking tell you of what. something. It's like, if Janet's thinking of something, it's fucking gonna be good. Or I'll tell him I'm thinking of something. I think I'll have it in a couple of days figured out in my head. I told her, so start writing them down. Guess what? She's starting to write them down. That cookbook's coming out, baby. <laughs> Julie will get her dream. Yes. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm telling you, it's going to, we, we got to. The 18 Wheel Talk cookbook. Hello. It has a fucking rig to it. I love you. Hey, if you guys want to see Janet, you, if you want to see the 18 Wheel Talk cookbook, leave a comment below. Let us know. I mean, you're going to have, you can, she can make desserts, main courses, appetizers, all on a budget, budget friendly. Come on. Anyway, Patrick. Come on, ring that bell. If you like it, what you think, subscribe to the show. What are you waiting for? The subscribes over here. Yeah, there's a little, there's a little halo, logo. halo logo thing. Should be, anyways. Like right back here. Anyway. Anywho. Gift ideas. Gift ideas. Let's get back on track. Gift ideas. For inexpensive gift ideas. We have a couple. For instance, Etsy.com slash shop slash Hellraisers. There will be a link. Or you can go to Hellraisers.com. It's Heller Razors. Mm -hmm. I just spell, pronounce it different. Yep. You can go to H E L L E R. A Z O R S dot com. We, we, we pronounce it Hell Razors, but it's spelled Heller Razors. Mm -hmm. And uh, it'll take it directly to the Etsy store that we, that we, we, we back in the, before we started podcasting, we, 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 we got on the e commerce bandwagon. And that's one of our sites. And that's one of our sites there. Okay. Where you can get you know t-shirts and coffee mugs with funny sayings and logos on them. And another one of our sites. Inexpensive. Gift it, idea. If you like clothes, like some of us do. What? Very nice clothes, workout clothes, what? leggings, bralettes, t-shirts. I like leggings. I'm not going to wear them. I like how they look. I was hoping to get you into those bun lifting leggings. You're a, <laughs> that's it. You're cut off. No more tequila for you because you're, you're you're going cuckoo. My oh. website for that, you can either go through janetmcue.com and you can browse around and find my leggings in there. Oh, that's right. You we're all these up. all the sites are there. That's the easy way. Or you can go to mylalaleggings.com slash hashtag. Hellraiser Legs. That's H E L L E R A Z O R S L E G S. <sighs> that's a there mouthful. will be a link in the show notes. <laughs> that's, a, that's a definite mouthful. But like I said, both of those sites are on JanetMcHugh.com. I'm going to have to make a list here. All right. Uh, so, so, number one, Hellraisers. Mm -hmm. Hellraisers.com. Number two, Janet McHugh.com. J A N E T M C C U E dot com. That's the extent of my singing for the day. Or what was it? Three, my <laughs> la la leggings leggings dot com. Gings dot com slash hashtag. I oh, gotta put the slash in there. Yep. 
All right. So slash hashtag H E L L E R A Z Z O R L E G S. Is it Hellraiser L E G S? So there's no S. So it's not Hellraisers. It's Hellraiser. Hellraiser legs. L E G S. I'm sorry. All right. I got New York education. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little slower. I know. <laughs> so, and your um, Hella Razor legs. Also on right? et- yes, Hella okay. Razor legs. Hashtag Hell- All right. Yes. Okay. And my friend Janice has an Etsy store. Okay. And you remember her? Yeah, I do. It's <laughs> Hebe GB Crafts. Hebe GB. <laughs> yes, it's that's that's cute. I like that. H E E B. I'm supposed to write this down. H. Okay, I'll start over. H E E B E E J E E B E E K R A F T S. T S. Yes, crafts. And that's on Etsy. Etsy. She's the one that made the. Blanket for Julian. Oh my God! That and she's the one that made the um, collars and leashes for the pugs. Yes, the the blanket that she made. She made a when my grandson was born. We had we had a quilt, a baby quilt, baby blanket. I call it a baby quilt because it has sections, squares. Yeah, it's quilted. And somewhere I have a picture. If I if, if I still have the picture, I'm going to post it in the show notes. But oh my God, it's the, beautiful. The the work that she put into this, and and it was it was so inexpensive, yeah. That it, it, I was blown away when I saw it, and then when I tried explaining it to my daughter, when we gave it to her, she was like, "Oh my God, this is amazing!" Yeah, everyone that just, saw it was just absolutely they were like, floored. Who is this person? Yep. So on Janice's site, she's got in addition to like kids stuff and dog or in addition to like pet stuff and leashes and stuff like that she's got like kids barrettes and keychains that are homemade and everything else she's got like um just a second i'll tell you 226 (laughs) items available on her shop right now yeah so there's a yeah and like i just browsed and i see items for like ten dollars six dollars sixteen dollars seven fifty so and every i see free shipping on a lot right now for her yeah, I know. I know we got it. We got I, I think we got about 80 on ours on our Etsy store. 80 um, items. I'm checking. Give me just a second. I'll tell you. It might be might be less. I might have to. There might be a couple of listings that ended, but. I'd say at least 70 to 80. Um, it's pulling up. 83. 83. 83. 83 items. T-shirts, mugs. I see mugs at 1495. T-shirts. T-shirts, 20, 1695 mugs. Yep. And um, then, and then, and then my sister has, you can, you can search out my sister. I know your sister has, um, just a second. She's my other shop. I like. Stay with us. We'll be right back. So you say you like tools. Now, are we talking about normal people like them or Tim, the tool man, Taylor like them? Because if you're like the two of us, it is definitely in the Tim the Toolman Taylor's range. I have never been bored when shopping for tools. So here's what you do. Head on over to 18wheeltalk.com slash jbtools. It will take you to their site, which will normally give you a discount, a chance in a giveaway, join the rewards club, or something really great like that. Then start browsing to your heart's delight. Whether you're looking for power tools, hand tools, 25 ton jack stands or gardening tools they have got you covered so take a few minutes to follow the link 18 wheeltalk.com slash jb tools and jewel over a few tools while you're there you can search her on social media at e a h originals is that original originals Originals, right? Originals with a Z. With a Z at the end. Because she's got to be different. No, it's it's cool, though. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's E-A-H stands for Extreme Artists. 
Hands. Hands with a Z, I think. I think she did that. Anyways, check her out. She does um, a, a, a variety of things uh, with paint. Is it paint? Pores? Paint, pores, and acrylic. Is and it acrylic? It's acrylic. She does really nice jewelry. She also does ceramic coasters, but I've seen more of her jewelry than I have her coasters and paintings. But some of the stuff that she, she it's like also, she takes the paint and then pours it on a canvas and then it runs. You know, I, I, I'm sure you've seen it before, but some of the stuff she does is like it's like uh, she showed me one and I and, and she didn't see it at first. And I, I said, and so I told her, send me a picture of it. And I and I and I highlighted it. I put it, I edited the picture. I put a big circle around it and I sent it back to her. And I said, I said, that looks like an alien. And she was like, oh, my God, I, I never saw that. <laughs> yeah. But, like <laughs> but it said, it looked like an alien right in the middle of the damn piece. She does matching pieces like earrings, necklace and um, bracelets. She'll yep. do matching pieces. She's got some that are all just custom work. All custom you work. can give her custom colors. She'll make it happen. Uh, reach out to her on social media. And no two and, items. Like if you buy a set from her, there's not another set like it. Yeah, like, it might like, be similar, like but nothing exact. Janet can't buy a set. And then I, I buy a set and have it be the same. It's never going to be the same. Yeah. But reach out to her on social media. Um, Instagram, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. I If she's on more, I don't know. She, uh, reach I out know to she's her on and, those. She's on Insta Twitter face. Okay. <laughs> that's what i call it it's the twitter face yes that's that sounds like a new social media platform coming out and it's all owned by megatron megatron yes <laughs> <laughs> well that's who owns facebook right no no that's meta okay metatron i'm sorry no no, no. <sighs> and megatron's going to be the next variant of the coronavirus uh, metatron no, Megatron is going to be the new the new variant coming out because we got Omicron. Yes, and then oh wait, no, the Omni it'll go Omicron, then then Decepticron, and then Mega Mega Megatron, and then Ult 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 uh, Ultron. Oh, Ultron! <laughs> I got you. Ultron and then Voltron. Yes. <laughs> remember that? Remember those cartoons back then? Yes, I do. Voltron. Mm -hmm. All the little robots connected again. It's kind of mm -hmm. like Transformers. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. That's okay. I'm going to send, um, what were the animal people? Um, what were the animal people? Yeah, no, the heroes that were animals and people. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they, they joined together to make Voltron. No, not them. No. Totally different cartoon. Totally different cartoon. Animal. Um, um, Paw Patrol. No, not Paw Patrol. Um, back before Paw Patrol, eighties. Eighties. Oh well, you really want me to remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Captain I see Caveman. Scooby Doo. I'm not talking about your weed days, Patrick. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I don't know. Just talking about weed days. What are, you, what are you talking about? It's not true, Mom. <laughs> I know you're listening. It's not true. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> anyway, I don't. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's she's on tequila. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. In the eighties, eighties cartoon with animals. Yeah, there was a set of Thunder Twins or something. Oh, Thundercats. Thundercats. Thank you. Yeah. Them, the animal people. Yeah, the animal people. That's them. like He-Man and She-Ra. Yeah, them, yeah. the animal people. Yeah, because you used to call me Skeletor. Yeah. I was scrawny. I was stealthy. You no, were I was scrawny. I was stealthy. You looked like an ancient Chinese man with the long skinny beard and all your bones sticking out. Let's be honest. That never fed you. I don't know what you're talking she about. She couldn't cook her way oh, out of oh, a paper meant, bag. You meant my foot, my foot. My Fu Manchu, yeah. because it didn't look like a goatee. It looked more like a Chinese. Fu Ancient Manchu Chinese man. man. She couldn't cook her way out of a paper freaking bag. Listen. There was the single life. You weren't single. Oh, anyway. Anyways. Another topic for another day. Yeah. Um... <laughs> All right. So let's go back over the list. We're in expensive places now. <laughs> 
All right. So number one was hellraisers.com. That's H uh-huh. E L L E R A Z O R S dot com. Hellraisers.com. That takes you to our Etsy store. Yep. Um, you have Janet McHugh.com. That's mm-hmm. J A N E T M C C U E dot com. Where Janet has a lot on there. Yeah, I got to update my website, though, honestly. I... Yep. It's been a little bit, um, but that's okay. We'll get it done. I'll get it done. But there are there are links to both Hellraisers, and her my, my la her leggings. my la la leggings slash hashtag Hellraiser legs, my la la leggings dot com slash hashtag Hellraiser Hel- legs. That's H E L L E R A Z O R L E G S. Yes, <sighs> that's a mouthful. <sighs> Say that five times fast. That 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 five times fast five times fast five times fast <laughs> <laughs> it's funnier all right uh the the fourth uh, uh the fourth place we 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 spoke about was hebe gb crafts mm-hmm. now you go to etsy.com and just search hebe gb yeah hebe gb crafts and it'll pop her up yep okay and if you can't find it message us and i'll send you a link yep because uh, she's a really good friend. We'll, 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 put it, we'll put a link in the show yes, notes. Yes, but if you if for some reason it doesn't work and you're just too stupid to figure it out, message me and I'll send you a link. Wait a minute. Our listeners aren't too stupid to figure shit out. We got smart listeners. Most of them. We have smart listeners. Most of them. There's that one random listener that can't figure anything out. There's that one random listener that listens to us all the time but hasn't subscribed to the show yet. Yeah. Hit the subscribe button. Smash that like button if you like. If they can't doing. figure out how to subscribe, they're never going to figure out a link. If you're here today, leave us a, you know, hit the, hit, 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 hit the, hit the notification bell. Say hi in the chat. You remember what I said? You can ring our bell. You can ring our bell. Ding. Say oh, hi. come on, that's funny. Say hi in the chat. Hi in the chat. And I'm, I'm just saying hi to the people in the chat. Hi to the people in the chat. Say hi in the chat. Whoop, whoop. Yo, yo, and a cup of cocoa. Co- I haven't made homemade cocoa in years. Have I ever made that for you? Wait a minute, but I didn't stutter. You make live cocoa? Homemade. Oh, homemade. I'm sorry. Well, I had Home- live, I got live on the brain. Homemade cocoa. Homemade cuckoo. Homemade you know, cuckoo. You know, like steam the milk cocoa. Homemade. Oh, homemade. No, I don't believe you. I don't not, think you have. Not like empty a packet of powder. Yeah, no, crap. No, I don't think you Real have. Real hot chocolate. Un- unless you did it on uh, one Christmas, maybe. I don't know. If so, it was the first Christmas. Because we had the homemade packets of cocoa. That we got from somebody? Yeah, that's not homemade. Oh. Sorry. I'm talking homemade. She's talking, talking homemade. I'm homemade. talking. Which will, the, the recipe will be in the 18 Wheel Talk cookbook. Yeah, with, <laughs> with like add the sugar and the cocoa powder and the milk type homemade. Mm-hmm. By the way, Janet has a YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I with, do. With, with cooking ideas, and tips and tricks and oh, shit, chips. Oh, yeah. That's the other thing I was going <laughs> to mention. We were going to hey, tell that was that was good. That, you like yeah, that? Oh, shit, chips. Yes. My yeah. oh, shit, chips. Tips and tricks, tricks and, and oh, shit, oh, shit chips. chips. And if you haven't seen my oh, shit, chips, that's like, oh, my God, that's her best video ever. That was me really <laughs> screwing up in the kitchen. And I had to laugh at myself because oh my God, was that was like shit. my moment in time. Uh, oh, I great. could have like done them perfect, and I'd always done them perfect, perfect until until I was on camera, and until, then I perfectly screwed it up. Yep. Oh my god! But it was good. It was good though. Everybody, enjoy, everybody likes those chips. By the oh, way, oh everybody, they're like anybody that I know that has has reached out to me that has seen your video because they know that we're 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 a team. Yes. They they say they say that video is hilarious and oh by the way those chips are delicious yeah and then they're and like low fat low and gluten free and, and they're like those are gluten free yeah what? I know right so that was the other thing I wanted to talk about today was everybody gets stressed out over the holidays 
what are you talking about? I don't get stressed out about it. And so next week, I want to talk about, I want to kind of give them a, a hint. And I was thinking that maybe next week we could talk about ways to make your holiday easier. Your Christmas holiday easier. I want to kind of give them a hint, hint. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. Because we both got ways to make Christmas easier. We do. Yes, we do. Well, I know I do. And I know you do. Yeah, it's called alcohol. <laughs> That's his way. <laughs> this is his way. <laughs> Quit licking it. <laughs> I'll give you the bottle. But if you think that would be something you'd be interested in. Let Julia. me know. By the way, if you're watching this live, say hi. Yes. Don't be afraid to say hi because we're we're in the chat room right now. And if you're watching replay, hashtag replay. Yes. Just because because we do check periodically to see what what's going on and how many views we get. I'm always I'm a I'm a stats guy because because of her. Yes, because I'm and always. I want to know if people like our shit. If they don't like it, then we got to stop doing it. But if you like it, then we're having smash, too much fun to quit. Screw it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is true. We we ain't stopping people. Smash that like button. Tell us, tell us how you know how you how you like us. And if you're if you're going to be listening to this and, and and you've heard our podcast show, five stars. Give us five stars on your favorite podcast player. Oh, is and this? If you, and if you can't. I, the, there's a way I know, but there's a will, there's a way you want to leave us five stars. So yeah. is this where I break the news to friends and family that used to get cookies from us? Stay with us. We'll be right back. Driver. If you haven't tried any of mother trucker yoga's products, have we got news for you? The news is you are missing out on some great products that really do work. So, you're probably sore from a long day and just don't know where to even start looking, right? Well, driver, stop right there. You don't have to wonder anymore. These products were all designed with the professional truck driver in mind. And the Stiff Mother Trucker Pain Relief Cream is 100% natural. As in, all the junk that you don't need on your body is not in it. It is paraben-free, gluten-free, sulfate-free, and artificial dye-free. Probably made right here in the USA. Road-tested, trucker-approved. It relieves sore muscles, soothes pain and inflammation from bee stings and insect bites. It calms that back pain from driving those long, hard roads. Helps alleviate foot pain. Helps reduce wrist pain, elbow pain, and stiffness in the neck and shoulders from poor sleep or overuse. In other words... If your body is feeling bruised and bumped up from that ever-intensive truck driver life, then Stiff Mother Trucker Pain Relief Cream is the answer to what you are asking. Just ask the crew at A&E Shipping Wars. They will let you know. So, go to 18wheeltalk.com slash resources and look for Mother Trucker Yoga to find this and many more great products. Uh-oh. Great. Well, we just lost three listeners. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're still going to get them. But, but for those that don't know, but, I, I but, typically bake about 1,600 cookies a year. That's the reason why I'm no longer stealthy. Which, which is like <laughs> 135 dozen, give or take. I don't know the exact number because it goes up and down every year by about a dozen or so. Depends on the migraine days. So this year I made some a decision. Some days are worse than others. And yes. Some, some days she feels she has to, she'll have a migraine. Then she, the next day she'll cook like nine dozen. And then she'll have a migraine and then nine more dozen. Well, no, then I have to double it to make up for the day yeah, that I exactly. did. Yeah, exactly. Make up for the day before. Nine and dozen then, is nothing, honey. Then, then That's then like I, a single batch. I got to suffer the consequences. Don't worry. We'll Nineteen go, dozen. If you, if you do, so look at, if you do like a hundred thousand freaking dozen, guess what? We're doing a cookie giveaway. You're, gonna let, saying, you're but, not going to let me finish, are you? I'm sorry. So typically I do about 135 dozen. 100, yeah, yeah. So that's about 1,600 cookies. Had to do that in my head again. This year I made the decision that because shipping has gone up so much, as we, we usually spend close to $200 to ship cookies to people. 
that's a big budget plus gifts to a lot of people like kids grandkids um so this year i'm only gonna i'm gonna cut back by almost a third i'm only gonna bake around 85 dozen cookies this year which is you know like about a thousand cookies are you still with me you still with me patrick so if you are one of those people that get cookies from us. You're going to have to let me know what's your favorite. Cause I don't think I'm baking the full, like 15 different types this year. No, no, no. Cause I won't let her. I'm, uh, I'm my, cutting down I'm on the my foot types. Down, I'm going to put my foot down gently. Oh, wait a minute. You got to make those, those flowery ones that you made. Which flowery ones? I don't know. What's the Christmas flower? poinsettia cookies yes I'm, i'll make you poinsettia cookies because you're you and i'll make date sticks for my brother dave and i'll him. still make sugar cookies for my brother john's family okay and i know that esther wants fudge okay um and someone requested i want i want peanut butter and jelly thumbprints and somebody requested crack christmas crack oh. people christmas crack oh my god uh, if if you don't make crack this year i'm I'm cracking your ass. But so if you have a favorite, you better. But like, I don't they're think all, I'm going to. I don't think favorite. I'm making Scottish lace this year, for instance. No, that 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 you, it ships really hard. It, it ships hard. But you also you, I think you made that when you had a migraine and you were like, I'm not doing this again. I've made it a couple of years and it turns out really good when when it turns when out, it turns when, out really yeah, nice. There's it's been a so few years good. where it's just like you were like, yeah, no, nope, didn't not my best. Nope. Yeah, it's either spot but, on or not. But there'll be a recipe in the in the in the eighteen wheel talk cookbook. No. Pretty soon it, it's like it's like a small little cookbook's gonna be like a hundred fucking pages long. <laughs> Sorry. I just gotta sit down, type and take pictures of more. That's it. I know. That's all it is. It's all right I, here. I know, right? Yeah, and most of the recipes I, I'd say ninety percent of oh. the recipes come from my mom and my grandma. And if you want a sneak peek at some of those recipes, go to Janet's YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Man. Now, like, oh, shit, chips. Those were not from my mom and grandma. My yep. mom is sitting up there laughing every time she thinks of that, I'm sure. Oh, my God. Because I know she watched that video. When she watched me make that. I think we even titled it, oh, shit, chips, didn't we? I believe so. Yeah. It didn't start out that way, but it ended up that way. She was pulling the pan out and bumped it and. Mm -hmm. The chips they ended up all over the oven door. Landed all over the, uh, and, and the first thing that came to her mind was, "Oh shit!" I said it. <laughs> I know that's what it I mean. Wasn't the first thing said came to my first mind. Thing thing came meant, out of my mouth. I bet the first thing that came out of your mouth was, "Ah oh, shit!" Yeah. So not not like she burned herself or anything. All I heard was, "Ah oh, shit!" And I knew she was recording, so I didn't say nothing to her. I just got a look and I'm like, and I picked them up. I did, man. Oh I, yeah. Put them right back on. The she was like, this oven, my oven is clean. This oven's clean. I'm eating these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Five second rule. <laughs> <gasps> what? Are you kidding me? 53 minutes into a live show and you drop an F-bomb? Miss, I don't ever swear. I don't say I never swear. <laughs> but the F-bomb? I, I, <laughs> wow. Ding, ding, ding. We got a winner, winner, winner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someday we're going to have to do a, a contest. Who can guess the minute that I say it? Yeah. And not let you drop it once. I'm and, sure I can uh, poke the bear, you know, get you. Let, and not let me know who guessed what time. Oh, oh, have a pool. Have a pool. Everybody picks a When's minute. When's Janet going to drop a When's drop Janet going to drop the F-bomb? Yeah, you got We got a 60 minute window. Pick a minute. Pick a, Exactly. <laughs> Pick a minute. And whoever picks the right minute if anyone does you know the next however many shows it takes if they pick the right minute you know yeah yeah we'll do we'll we'll have to we'll have to do like um you know uh five dollars a square okay and then and then we split the pot oh i got you so the winner gets like so if we make a if we sell the 60 you know out of the 60 squares at five dollars a square mm -hmm. how much is that three hundred dollars that's three hundred dollars. Sixty yeah. six yeah, because there's sixty minutes. Mm -hmm. So 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 half of that, the winner gets one fifty. Look at that, my New York math. Man, right off the top of the head. Look oh shit. I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna hurt my arm, pat myself on the back for an hour. <laughs>
<laughs> don't look at me in that tone of voice. I don't know what to do with him, people. I don't know what to do with me either. <laughs> Anyways, oh, thank sweet, you for sweet. joining our show today. We'd fall apart without you. Yes. Go to our Patreon and help support our show. Uh, help us do stuff like this. And we'll give you a shout out on the air and yes. in our podcast show. And anywhere we can, you know, we're going to raise the roof. And Also, if you have a small business, yes. we'll absolutely give you a shout out on the air. Oh, before we go, we did. Uh, we, we were raising money for breast cancer. Oh, my gosh. I almost forgot. Yes. So we, we did not raise as much as we wanted to. No, we didn't. But but we made. Fifty dollars. Mm hmm. All right. So that that's that's 50 percent of the profits. Came up to 50 bucks. Yes. OK. On on our T-shirt sales was a little shy of that, but we rounded up. We took what we do is we took this logo here. There. 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 <laughs> we took that logo and turned it pink. Yes. OK. And on the back of the T-shirt, instead of saying this supports the show, it says this this shirt supports breast cancer. OK, and we we did it on three different shirts mm -hmm. um, and we raised we we didn't raise as much, but we're still new. So, so 50 hoping, bucks was pretty good considering we don't make a lot of profit off a T-shirt. You know, certain T-shirts, we, we make some certain T-shirts we don't make. But anyways. 50 bucks is 50 bucks. But so, we didn't think it was enough. So we decided we're going to match it. So so we're going to donate $100. Yeah, we took we're our half of the profits and instead of pocketing it, we're putting it on the check. Yeah. Yeah, we're 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 just gone. We're we're matching it. We're 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 donating 100% of the profits. Yes. All right. And we're going to donate it to Did we figure out where we're going? Yes, it? the place here in Phoenix yeah, because what, nobody gave us a suggestion. We're going to donate it to Ironwood Cancer Research. Yes. I think it yeah. I think that's the name. Of I think it. it's called I, Iron. Uh, yeah, it's the, it's the Ironwood Cancer Research. I, I don't I don't have it. In front it's of Ironwood me. Cancer Center, but I don't know the legal name. Yeah, but we'll take a picture of the check so everyone can see. Yep, we'll, we'll take a picture of the check and and the 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 name will be on the check. So maybe we'll see if we can do a hand delivery. Yeah, we'll actually. Yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll do a we'll do a video of us hand delivering the check. Yeah, that would be cool. You see know. if they, we can figure that out. So, so that's that. I wanted to get that out, and I think January first, I'm going to open the breast cancer tab back on our website. Oh, that'd be a good idea. Work on it all year, and we're gonna. We're. Gonna, I want to. I want to. I want to triple it. I want to time. I want to ten times it. That I want to be really nice. And we'll do it from from January first to October thirty first. Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to say instead of fifty dollars raised, we raised five hundred dollars, because we're always going to add money to it. Yep. But it'd be nice to say, well, we didn't just put in fifty bucks; we raised five hundred and we popped in another two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars, whatever it is. You know what? I, or I, we matched it again. Yeah, I, I, I think we're going to match it. I think, I think you know what? I, I think we just donate a hundred percent of the profits. We'll see. You know what? I, I, I think depends I, on how many bills we have on this end to pay. It's, it's. After the bills are paid. Okay. So that's what, that's all I mean is it, after the bills are it, paid. It's, it's, it's the net proceeds. Yes. This, this time we did the gross proceeds though. No, this is the net proceeds. Yeah. It oh was, yeah. That's was, right. No, it's, it's all net. Oh yeah. You're right. It was the profits. My yeah. bad. My bad. It, it, My bad. Everybody got paid and this is what's left over. Yeah. So we profit. decided, you know what? We gave our profit. We, up. We're giving up our end. We're, we're, we're matching it. Yes. So we're going to donate hundred percent. My bad. And I think we're going to do it again this year. I, I, I put my finger down. <laughs> don't look at me like that. I don't know what you're talking about. hundred percent. Next okay. year. Next year, we're donating a hundred percent of the profits from our, our three t-shirt sales. Okay. So, so stay tuned. January 1st, top of our website, 18 wheeltalk.com. You'll see it. BC support tab. Yes. I'll, I'll change it and I'll just put breast cancer and you guys can just click on it and go to town. So if you guys want us to talk about ways to save money for the holiday, let us, know. let us know. But you know what, Patrick, I think we should do. 
Say hasta la pasta. Hasta la pasta. Oh, I like pasta. <laughs> I thought you wanted enchiladas. Oh, I like those too. <sighs> Say goodbye, Patrick. See, this is the dilemma I have living with somebody that actually knows how to cook. I'm not the stealthy guy I used to be. I was built for speed earlier. Now I'm built for comfort. <sighs> That's it. I'm coming out of hiatus. I'm smoking I, again. I, I tell you, he looked like an ancient Chinese skeleton. No, I did not. He did. I, if I can find a picture, I, I will post not. it. He I was really, it. I was skinny. Yeah. I looked like I weighed 400 pounds compared to what he looked like. Oh, stop. I, I was a size bad. one and he looked like he was a size I had no, 10. I had zero body fat. That's you what had it was. zero, zero. You were skeleton and skin. Was not. Yeah, you were. All right, maybe a little. Patrick, say goodbye. Anyways, they don't need to hear us argue over body fat because <laughs> we both have plenty now. <laughs> oh God! See yeah. you for later. So what? <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. We 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 truly believe laughter is the best medicine. If we made you laugh at some point throughout the show today like this video smash the subscribe button hit the notification bell and give us five stars please five stars <laughs> see ya okay bye i gotta push some buttons here hold on that button okay then that button ah uh, yeah doopy doopy do hasta la pasta hasta luego 18 Wheel Talk. Thank you for joining us today. We greatly appreciate it. Be sure to stop by 18wheeltalk.com and check out all the affiliates mentioned in the program today. Remember, we're here coaching generations of drivers while guiding them on their path to success. We'll catch you on the flip side. Spark the revolution. revolution. So tell me, do you have one of those change buckets in your vehicle for fancy cafes? Yeah. And are you looking for a way to help support the show and just don't know how? Well, we have great news for you. It is super easy and you can do it for as little as $3 a month. Yes, that's right. $3 a month. That means for the cost of a cup of coffee, you could support the show for a month. And if you order one of those foo-foo frappy thingamabobs with all those flavors and whipped cream and sprinkles on top, you could support the show for about six months. Isn't that amazing? Saving you calories from that frappy thingamabob with all those flavors and whipped cream and sprinkled things on top and help out the show. <laughs> What's not to like about that? So to do so, just go to 18wheeltalk.com slash support and you will see just how easy it is to support the show. And don't forget to pick out your fan emoji while you're there. That's 18wheeltalk.com slash support.